a big bean bag right in front of the heater. And you've never owned a bean bag before? No, I, I don't know where it came from. It's, what was frightening is I had this overpowering urge to go and sit in it. And go, but George Pappas is not the only the resident of this Sunday street to have experienced this phenomenon. We did have a couple 10, 11 years ago, and then when we moved into this house, we put them out in the back shed. And then I went out there last weekend to get the weed wand, and there must have been 10, 11, 12, those coitero ones and, and the velour ones. <laughs> and just at the last moment, before I slammed the door, out of the corner of my eye, I saw one of those venomous ones. You know, those vinyl ones? I think it's another one in the what? rumpus room. One in the rumpus room? Oh, God. The kids. <laughs> The bean bag, an ugly vinyl or corduroy sack filled with little styrene balls or beans, hence the name. All pretty harmless. Or is it? The bean bag was introduced in the 1970s to eradicate what was considered to be a household pest at the time, the tasseled ottoman or poof. But this is what actually happened. the bean bag remember the most dangerous varieties are the lime green and the purple ones avoid all contact and phone your local council do not repeat do not sit in one question is accepted one day carpooling may be compulsory Thousands of people are injured in their beds. Accidents such as your partner rolling on top of you. <laughs> Waking up frozen because your partner has taken all the doona. <laughs> Going to the toilet in the dark and losing your way. from having your partner's hair all over your face. <laughs> Suffering nightmares over mortgage payments. <laughs> Getting a fright from seeing your face in the mirror early in the morning. <laughs> Turning your bed into a sauna by leaving the electric blanket on. 
waiting up inside the doona. <laughs> from loud clock radios. <laughs> Water beds that leak. <laughs> and waking up to discover whom you slept with the night before. <laughs> so remember, play it safe. In there. Good morning. Release the hostages. Put your weapons down and come out of the bank with your hands up and you will not be armed. What? Not responding. I think we're going to have to go in. Stand by. Ready, sir? Go! Wait! Don't shoot! <laughs> G'day, Mr. Mac. Hey, Russ, what do you got for us? Uh, not sure. Oh, I know this. Give us, give us, give us, give us, give us. Looks like tickets. Ah, season's pass. Yeah, I know they do. No, no, no. Tickets to the theatre. Oh, right. So you're going to the theatre? Yeah, yeah. Gonna go and see that new show with that comedian bloke in it. What comedian? That comedian bloke, uh, he's like Rodney Rude. What's his name? Um, Les Miserable. <laughs> no, that's Les Miserables. Les what? French thing. It's a, it's a play about uh, ex-convict and all the really poor people in France. Oh, right. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. I've heard the people in France are so poor, they eat snails. <laughs> Imagine being so poor, you have to eat snails all the time. <laughs> it's hardly ever happened to me. <laughs> Imagine going home to your mum, what's for dinner? Oh, no, not snails again. No, no, no. <laughs> it's Rosella savoury slugs. <laughs> Could you imagine the ads on telly? So feed the man, feed the man, feed the man, slugs. <laughs> imagine getting 20 kids running down the street going, My dad feeds the frogs that makes the frogs legs that I like best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't see a play like that, Mr. Mac. It's not like that. It's a musical, Russ. It's a musical. Oh, a musical? Yeah, big musical. Oh, right. I've seen all musicals, Mr. Mac. Yeah? I've seen one about this bloke who had a plate stuck on his face and he fell in love with the singer. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, that's right. And I've seen one uh, about all these guys on a raft. Big River. Yeah, and I've seen another one about these blokes uh, had a big big heap of rubbish in it. Cats? Nah, uh, Australia. The, uh, what is History it of Australia Musical. That's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine if musicals were like singing. You know, like in real life, musicals were just like in real life. Imagine like me. I'm walking down the street and I'm going, I'm on my way to misery and happiness. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I think I call a doctor, Russ. Uh, maybe you should go on the stage. I think you've got a bit of talent there. Oh, it's in the blood, Mr. Mac. In the blood? Yeah, my what? grandfather. He was in uh, theatre for about ten years. Yeah, he opened at the Tivoli. He opened at the Tivoli? Yeah. He was a performer? Nah, he's a doorman. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad. My dad's in theatre. As we speak, my dad's in theatre right now. What, the state theatre? Nah, state hospital. He's having his hemorrhoids done. <laughs> Anyway, Mr. Mac, I'll see you at the theatre Saturday night. I'll be there. Oh, come on, you won't be there. I'm at the theatre every Saturday night. You're at the theatre every Saturday night? Yeah, I've got my own spot and everything, Mr. Where? Mac. Where? What row? Uh, I just look for the row of bottles. I actually wash behind the dishes and the hot bar. <laughs> Get out of here, Russell. See you, Mr. Mac.